Firescape University. All right, so we're sort of at the end of our day. It's 5.30. We've got the guys up there working on the project. So we've got a doctor inside the lift. Got Jason up there guiding. Got the paymaster up there and you got the nurse up there. This is all done here. At least, you know, 90% done. Any last minute stuff. That top left corner one is done. That's why this machine for 300 bucks a day has a 35 foot capacity plus your height, so it's 40 feet. So it's what you use not to play with power lines, not to get dangerous, because we did the pick over here. This is not too bad. A pick up to 20 feet, more than sufficient. These gorilla ladders work good, you know, but you start getting into that kind of height, you better rent a lift. Home Depot has these, they're 300 bucks a day. They're 900 bucks a month, I mean a week, and you get seven days. So you pay for three or four days, you get seven days total. It's well worth it. It's make me a lot, it makes a lot of money. All right, so the treads are still in process. You can see the shiny bolts, a lot of scraping. But let me tell you one of things I did is I came in and I found that the trailer was in total disarray. And the camper, which has its own setup, was in total disarray. So what I, what I did is I stripped both of them out for a reset. So we're about to do a full reset on this and as you can see a majority of it is already in a reset mode but there were some lost items mats that we've been searching for an extra table bolts extra paint buckets tools and supplies look at all this stuff okay lights okay so all these things were here and these things are going to have starting to have an effect so i stripped everything out which is what you do Moved everything over to this table. This is actually a fab table. This table is always clean. It's where we fabricate and work. But at the same time, at the end of the day, most of the tools used on this job will only occupy this area. And it's the first things that go out. And when you go out, you start setting it up exactly like this. Like this. Like this. Back table. Done. Sometimes you don't even have that table. And the paint station is always by itself using a scaffolding as its major method. So we're going to spend, because we're going to uh, Iowa, this baby, or not, but she needs to be fully outfitted, you know? Trash, waters, plastic, temperature. These are all things. First aid kits. These are all light. Nothing heavy on this side. It's all got to be light stuff, so we got to bring all the light stuff back. That's additional heavy-duty structural. Everything that's tools got to be up front. Any major tools of money got to be in this box, and it's got to be locked up. Okay, so this is what this is supposed to be, and it's currently not. It looked like a pig pen. I want it fixed. And we're going to do that now with the rest of the team. And here's a mini version of the same thing. Okay, this is storage. This is a hose. Looks like there's some lost children underneath there that I have to go find out what that is. So over here, it's the same thing. This is made for us to do emergency work and it's currently not so we got one and a half setups we're gonna break it down get everything back together and then reload this for tomorrow and reload this for tomorrow this one can actually go to the other side and do the work and this one can stay here tomorrow to finish up the major structure and tomorrow's a full paint job day all right so I'll show this video one more time after we've just completed the setup and put everything back inside the uh, the trailer.